every single sorry it got cut off so every single person i met gave me the advice about making my homemade season and that it does save a lot of money now another thing that's taken up a lot of my money is sauces sauces and side um dishes it does take a lot of my money up now like i say i don't realize what i be doing and every time i overbuy it is like but here's the thing i make use out of every single food that i have so it's not like i'm overbuying and don't know what to do with it it's just some foods are not made to last long in the refrigerator it's like you have to eat at a certain time and sometimes if i don't touch that certain food item right away or i don't touch it within three to five days it will instantly go spoil you and that's where i messed up at and that's why i'm wasting money and then another thing i did was buy as if i was buying for a family of five when it was just me and you know why is that is because when i did you know live with my family at the time and my grandma took care of us i always thought about three to four peoples i had to buy for because me and her would split the bill on you know going food shopping and then when she passed away and it was just me and my brother living in the house i was going shopping for us all the time so i was and then we both ate a lot that's another thing we both eat like two grown-ass men i was always eating two plates at every freaking meal whether it's lunch or dinner and then i had to learn how to eat small portions and this caught up to me too because i did the most and for for me to be a woman and i'm glad nobody's seen how i ate before because they were like damn you could put away a lot of food and then you could basically see it on me. I'm one of those people that if I eat a lot, you could tell that I eat and I don't miss no meals. I'm not one of those blessed peoples out here who's skinny as hell, gonna eat a whole lot of food and you would never see where it went. You could see where it went because my gut was big. My gut was telling on me. And then on top of that, my face was telling on me because I was breaking out a lot too because another thing I have a problem with is sugar. So that was another um deal breaker for me that really broke the bank is i bought a lot of sugar whether it's sweets it was um coffee creamers ice creams you know chocolate chip cookies things like that like all types of snacks i would buy at least 25 to 30 dollars worth of snacks to last me for the whole month and that was another deal breaker breaker for me so i stopped doing that it took me about two and a half years um to Com like to completely get rid of a lot of sugars like i was holding it i was holding on to it for dear life and i didn't know why and what i was doing but i and then i realized why because i use it as a crush for stresses because i was like okay some people like desserts because it goes with the meal it tastes amazing and we like what we like some people use it as a crutch like me because we are emotional eaters so if i'm happy and i'm celebratory i'm eating the, i'm eating a meal with a dessert if i'm sad depressed i'm eating a dessert without the meal sometimes i would really give up two meals just to eat this dessert for the day and i'll be good for the day and sometimes it will hurt me to the point it will send me to the hospital that's something i didn't want to do so i had to cut that out and i had to get some type of boost from my doctors to help me get rid of the sugar and then you could tell on my face because i was constantly breaking out and i didn't know how to get rid of the breakouts so they was like well your breakouts is due to your sugar and your carb intake so if you cut out at least majority of it you'll see a big difference in your skin they was right i did that i cut out 90 percent of my sugar intake and my carb intake and i saw a huge difference and then other than that using skincare routines it helps as well so as you can see i have no more breakouts as bad as like i used to now my breakouts is due to my pmsing like whenever i get my menstrual and then on top of that it's like minor little bumps like you barely could see it so it's like these these are from my hormones but for the sugar i heard from the sugar i think it was the jawline is the sugar and the four the top of the head is the, um, the hormones and the stress so i was breaking out badly from one side of the jaw to another bad and it was not cute on me so i had to come up with a skin routine to help me which i did aloe 
is my best friend. Turmeric, honey is my best friend. Coconut oil, coconut water is my best friend. And I say that because I use all that as a cream and put it on my face. I wash with it. I use the cream for it. I make my own creams. I don't buy it from the store. And I am a little scared to buy certain stuff from the store because I don't know if it's going to work for me or if it's going to make me break out. So I make my own facial creams. So bottom line is I try doing my own remedies and it helps. And I love the fact that my skin is getting lighter, it's getting even, no more dark spots, no more pigmentation, and no more harsh breakouts. And it took about six years to come up with this idea and to realize this stuff. It took me six years to even discover this. So I hope y'all understand this and I hope y'all love this video and please give me a like, share, subscribe. If you like this video, comment below what else I should do and let me know if y'all been through the same thing and I am out. Love y'all.